We're here with Atlantis Bolivia Tours, the Altiplano of Bolivia, about 13,000 feet in altitude. And you can hear clearly the sound of the thunder and lightning storm. It's over there and over there. This is the location of author J.M. Allen or Jim Allen's Atlantis in the Andes. And 12,000 plus years ago, this was all water below me. Lake Titicaca was 10 times the size it is now. All that remains now is a little bit of Lake Poopo there. But what's fascinating about this place is that you can see it's in the high Altiplano of Bolivia. Everything's flat. But here we have three concentric rings going around this mountaintop here. And that is consistent with Plato's concept of the city, not the continent, the city of Atlantis. Also, uh, Plato talked about that Atlantis had three different colors of stone, red, black, and white. That's exactly what we find here. Here we have the quadcopter Pachacutec inside the first of the three rings. Notice the depression. Uh, the square patterns are probably fields made or walls made much, much later in time. Okay, this is the second of the three rings, and we still have quite a ways to go up. I, I see no megalithic uh, stone cutting te technology here at all so far. Um, most of this stone is volcanic basalt. This could have been an ancient volcano. have found pottery. Um, actually, interestingly enough, from the Wankarani culture that lived about 3,000 years ago in this area, and they definitely performed cranial deformation uh, in a nearby museum. They have a number of examples of quite large elongated human skulls. You can clearly see that a lot of effort was put in in somewhat ancient times to create this grid work of what appear to be corrals as well as this massive staircase system that goes all the way to the summit. Again, from this first trip, we were able to figure out that at least the Wankarani culture were here, and they date back about 3,000 plus years. So this is the final ascent up to the top of Atlantis. This is the third of the rings we're in. Again, notice all the sand. Sand and stone. The wind is blowing quite fierce here on the Altiplano, as it usually does. So hopefully the quadcopter, Pachacutec, has been able to get some good views overhead and allow us to see how intact these three rings are. Of course, this was a site of catastrophic damage many thousands of years ago, and so the sides may have fallen off. 
But now, the final ascent. So we are here at the summit. They have, of course, built a church on top of it, like they do everywhere. Where there's an older sacred site. I saw no evidence of any machining technology that I'm used to in Peru, Bolivia, um, or Egypt and other places. Um, the basalt stone here can, can break in reasonably straight lines, but we found no perfectly flat surfaces, no 90 or other degree angles. But it's very well worth a visit. Um, this place, Atlantis in the Andes, is located about two and a half hours drive south of the city of Oruro, which is south of the capital of La Paz. Um, in the past, the road was terrible, it was dirt, but now it's a, there's a highway that takes you almost exactly to this location. In fact, I can see the highway from here. And many thanks to the great president of Bolivia, Evo Morales, for investing so much money into infrastructure, not just here, but throughout the country, helping out the people of his land and assisting the visitors who wish to come here and see interesting places such as this. HiddenIncaTours.com and HiddenHumanHistory.com for more information. And for more information about author J.M. Allen or Jim Allen, just type into a search engine J.M. Allen Atlantis Bolivia and you'll find not only his website but also that of the Atlantis Bolivia team who offer tours. And check out Jim Allen's books on Amazon.